Mm -hmm. All right, so who am I to All praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shah, by Shem, by the Gosh. The Lord to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the Ops around the world that are doing the work for Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shah, in truth, faith, and in sincerity. And GMS Houston, blessed to be here once again uh, to celebrate and give thanks and praise and honor to the Most High Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shah, for another Passover. And so, uh, we're going to kick this pass over off with a lesson. And for this particular lesson, we want to deal with time being of the essence because we're here. You know, um, we can see the we can see the finish line. Esau's kingdom is at a close. And with that, you know, it's going to be for us more tribulation, more trials, more proving and testing. So we have to stay sharp. We have to, you know, keep that edge about us. And in this wicked and corrupt society, evil is on all fronts. You know, uh, 1 Peter 5 and 8 is very much real. If we can you grab that, uh, one of you brothers grab that real quick. And uh, we're going to get into this term of time is of the essence. But uh, let's get that scripture real quick. This is 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walking about seeking whom he may devour. Right, so we have an adversary, something that they really don't teach in this Catholic church system, which is total BS. You know, uh, well, the whole Catholic system and, and this plantation Christianity is, is total BS. They got, the, you know, all the followers throughout the world <laughs> running around thinking that it's, things are all good. And right now, the world is gearing up for war, which just lends to the, gives more credibility to the topic that as, that's at hand, that time is of the essence. But, you know, we, we, we push that urgency because we haste in the day. So uh, if there one more time, I grab uh, real quick after that, brother, read that, give me a uh, statement for me. It's First Peter chapter five verse eight. Be sober, be vigilant, and that's sober of spirit. Be sober of spirit. And at times when we live in here, you don't even want to really be uh, consuming too much of the yaya, the wine of the strong drink, which is okay to do. All things are lawful, but all things are not expedient. Ain't nothing wrong with having a little wine, but the times that we live in here, you got to. You gotta pick and choose the time, you know, <clears throat> when you decide to get nice. Because I mean, right now, anything can go down at any time. So we gotta be vigilant, <laughs> be alert, be sober. Go ahead, brother. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walking about seeking whom he may devour. We don't just walk about here and there, you know, once a year. This is constant. He's constantly walking about, waiting for you to slip up, looking for that opening to come in there and call wreak havoc. Like you better see that commercial Say, you know, 
question, you know, Scott got brothers around us. When, when, <laughs> when your determination ain't up to par or, you know, lacks in certain areas, you must have brothers you know, around you that say, you know, hey, brother, that ain't, ain't going to be good. Or well, whatever you're doing right now, that ain't what you should be doing. You know, that's the brotherhood is for. You know, so we we have a we have a system to where uh, we can stand against the wild stuff using this the very same word, but we're reading the Bible. So yeah, you can finish that off with that. I just want to go. That was it. So uh, with that being said, we're gonna get into this time being of the essence, you know, because hey, it's high time right now. So I'm gonna turn it over to uh, you. Go ahead and run into it. Right? Yeah, most of uh, we all have heard that that phrase. You know, I I just had recently looked it up, and you know, I thought it was just a, a kid phrase. You know, that people use to emphasize that you need to hurry up. Or oh, I'm, you know, you don't you only have so much time to get something done. It's like a damn time is of the essence, but it really goes back to uh, legal terminology. And I was going to read the, uh, a couple of definitions that they give from a couple of sources. The first one is from uh, the website is www.lawcornell.edu. Uh, and I'm going to read it. It says, in a in legal context, time of the essence is a statement that may be included in the language of the provisions of a contract to emphasize that the parties must complete their obligations on time. I read on, it says, in other words, the phrase time, of, time is of the essence means that timing is material to the performance of the contract. You know, so we're uh, relating that to this, to this truth. You know, we are in a contract. Once we entered into this this labor, we we became under contract with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Bashem Yahweh you know, and we didn't enter into the labor on our own, you know. Uh, and, uh, that Saint John fifteen and sixteen, uh, Yahweh we didn't choose Yahweh Shai, He chose us, you know. So that's uh, that's one source, and I want to bring this one out too. I like this uh, definition. This is off of the uh, site. It's www.quickenlongs.com. And uh, it says this. Time is of the essence is a legal phrase used to specify the time period in which one party must complete its contractual obligations. Okay? That's pretty much it. So we, gotta, we have to uh, move in that Thing after that is the rock. Mm -hmm. You know, 
programmable money, but it's, it's got to be programmed to something. What's that something going to be? Bro. Hey, just okay. going to back up. No, no, no. no. Go ahead, bro. Okay. Uh, this is the book of Ecclesiastes, uh, chapter 5, verse 7. It says, Make no tyranny to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. But suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Mm -hmm. uh, in my, but their security. Mm -hmm. You know, our security is in Yahweh shall not be that way. So, you know, we we constantly watch. Scripture tells us Yahweh Shah is coming as a thief in the night, as Brother Red Sudden shall destruction come. And Yahweh Shah is the one coming in that destruction. So yeah, uh, you can make it uh, yeah, uh, real quick, uh, Matthew uh, 24 and 42. Watch, therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord will come. And he brought grace that some of our people. We just throw that word around loose a bit. Grace be a period of time is given. Right? Before the, the obligation is fulfilled, man. Like, like, like you were saying with the, with the, the kind of uh, kind of obligation, we have our obligation to y'all watch and y'all shop. But right? grace is a period given, given out of mercy to you to get your shit together for us. Right? Faith, 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 Grace right. is not infinite. That's my first period of time, man. Right. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. This is Ephesians 5. I started at 14. It says, Well, for he and, said, uh, and the brother is off that voice. Is he might have to speak up. It's Ephesians 5. Ephesians. Come. Ephesians 5 and 14. It says, Well, for he said, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Mashiach shall give thee light. It says, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Yeah. And I want to go to the end. Yes, that's a spirit, too. That's good, though. That, that's kind of good. I want to go into the word redeeming. It's uh, exaggerazo, and it says, uh, G1805, it says to redeem, the, it says by payment of a price to recover from the power of authority, and it's the main one. It says to make wise and sacred use of every opportunity for doing good. And that's the time we're in now. Like I said, from Luke 4 and 28, as it was our minds to go astray, now we're being returned, return, seek the Lord 10 times more. You know, because we went off, we did bullshit, now the Lord gave us that mercy. Now we gotta put in that extra right. effort, you know. Yeah, when you really get, when you know, when brothers, we are supposed to be in that spirit. When you really get into being about this ministry, you realize you don't have that much time outside of this work. You know, the ministry pretty much takes up all your time, majority of your time. Mm -hmm. You know, even the meditation you may be up there at the job work. Or dealing with your family, or whatever the case may be, this truth is always on our, is on our yes. minds. We thinking about uh, business all the time, you know. Then we did you how about shooting outside business? And even when you're doing stuff, just say you out and about doing things. You always thinking about it. what am I? What I'm doing is it lawful and is it expedient? You know, you always win your actions or your conversation through the scriptures at all times. Like, because we, you know, we don't want to go off. So we always mindful of, of the things that we're doing to make sure that what we're doing ain't wrong, you know. I, I, I always look for a lesson. Yeah. You know, everything, you know. I think about precepts, um, different things you go through during the day, man. I always try to, me personally, try to find a lesson in everything to pass through the scripture, man, because this is my life now. Right. So everything goes through the whole scripture, you know. Hey, going back to uh first Peter five and eight about the devil having one line goes about seeking whom he may devour, 
it's uh gives it gives the you know give the devil less opportunity to yes. to shoot them fiery darts at you yes. you know or to for that fire them fiery darts to break through the almost so to speak mm -hmm. you know when you're at work in the spirit uh at every opportunity you know that was the one way it said be vigilant yeah be vigilant yeah I had looked at word on vigilant and real quick I'll bring it out off the of the online.com dictionary say from the late 15th century from the French vigilant or directly from the Latin vigilantum all right uh, watchful anxious careful uh to watch keep awake not to sleep to be watchful awake to be strong be lively and that's what we're supposed to be lively strong man you know this got to be in your your heart or your mind your love which is how you said the hebrew 24 7. you can't push the truth to the side for for a few hours and you know be a worldly type person, man. you know. Even when you out there, we in the world, but we not of the world. You still gotta constantly keep in mind, man. I should, yeah, I better not do that. Yeah. You know, according to this standard. So like it's just you made that point, you know, we amongst the world, you know, in the world, you think about uh, the scripture too, when you have a shot said, give up the Caesars with the Caesars. Ain't no way you're gonna be able to do that unless you're moving in this world. Yeah. We know we, at this current time we still in captivity. We gotta operate in this world, all right. But the way we what we operating for is to make sure we do what we gotta do to stay out of Esau's way and then benefit, uh, uh, give and benefit us to the ministry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is um, Ecclesiasticus of Sirach, chapter thirty six. Starting at verse 7, it reads, Raise up indignation and pour wrath, take away the adversary and destroy the end. Verse 8, make the time short, remember the covenant, and let them declare thy wonderful works. So the prophet was asking him to follow him to make the time short. Why? Because when the time is shortened, we know that our salvation is near, man. Our time to be delivered and saved from hell. Is at hand, man. And the Heavenly Father said, He's going to make the time short for me to let say. This is why everything is speeding up at a rapid pace, man. All right, this is about this a global reset, a global food crisis, the uprising of the people, right. a World War III. So many things happen, man. Right. It is so beautiful. And I can see how a person can't be in tune with the times, man. Right, and realizing that we don't have time. And that's right. out of the spirit, even now, even just in general, is like, Shit, you know, we really don't have much time to be after a while, you know. Just like the Passover, mm -hmm. it was something that was done in haste, and we in haste right now to get the hell out of here, you know. I see. I got this one. And that's why, that's why the prophet's asking the most how to speed it up, you know, mm -hmm. because yes. the prophet's always caught hell, mm -hmm. you know. We we out here catching hell. And you might have some two, two thirds out in the world catching hell, but you know they still look for a way in the world to make their situation better. Right. And I realize that the only way it's going to get better is through your house shot. And it's true. Um, so, and the only answer to in it and all of this shit, right, is for your house shot to come shut this shit down. Right. 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 Your house shot got to come shut this shit down. It's, there is no win for what he really like. Right. right. You got money. A lot of niggas got money. Right. Then you got to worry about a nigga running up on you with a, with a Draco or, or with a stick. Right. <laughs> running up in your house. Like, what, what, that's what was in 95. They knew it was in New York. Right. 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 You know, a lot of them had nothing there. Yeah, so money is not the answer. What is the answer? Going to get a gated community, living in a gated community, that's not the answer. You still paying taxes, you still looked at as a member, you still being treated with disrespect. What is the answer? Your hollow bosh and your shy is the answer. We got to get the hell up out of here. We need a kingdom. That's the answer. Right. Ain't no, you know, uh, 
what's the old boy name? Uh, trying to start the school. Uh, uh, Umar, Umar Johnson, right? A school where he's gonna mm -hmm. do shit. You know, we are such a disadvantage right now. It would take really 150 to 200 years of, of schooling to just get caught up to just to get caught up. But then they still moving. They yeah, they the still yeah, yeah. Yeah. That. But that go into the lesson. Right. I mean, you know, so like, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you got it. Like, I was gonna say that go in. It, it, it will take a long time. Which time? That time we don't have. We don't have that type of time. That's the beauty of the promise, man. We gonna man the elect that's gonna get saved, the remnant for now, and then the rest of Israel gonna get brought back. They gonna have to be taught as, as the second covenant uh, speaks of in, uh, in, uh, in Hebrews, man. Right, we're not gonna have to teach nobody no more. They gonna born. This already gonna be in. Right. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, you was talking about there's no answer in this in this world for salvation. Yeah. This world only offers death and destruction. I signed the house. I signed oh, the house. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. This is uh, Michael 2 and 10, and it says, Read the rise ye and depart. But this is not your rest because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction. Going back to what you were talking about, the only thing that this place has to offer outside of its truth. Is death and destruction. These are the ways of uh, Babylon. They promise you democracy, Christianity, and, and all those that, that those lies. But everywhere you see that this, this man is gone, he saw even the so-called white man, his footprints of death and destruction, because that's all he leaves. And that's all his kingdom has to offer. And when it says arise ye and depart, come out of his place spiritually, physically. We ain't talking about going somewhere across the world and back to Jerusalem, <laughs> Pink City, and all that, you know. But come out of the ways of this place uh, spiritually because it has nothing to offer but death and destruction. Hit that one more time and then jump over to uh, Jeremiah 47 26. Come on, this is uh, Michael 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, but this is not your risk because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with the sword destruction. He said Jeremiah 47 and 26. Um, no, uh, I will deliver them. We have to mix it up. Jeremiah, how uh, 26 verse? 47, how 26 verse? Well, I'm not in right, 46. Uh, 46. Uh, 46 and 26. Hang on one second. Forty-six and twenty-seven. It's a lot. Come. On. This is Jeremiah chapter forty-six and verse twenty-seven. But fear not, thou, O my servant Jacob, and be not dismayed, O Israel, for behold, I will save thee from afar off, and thy seed from the land of their captivity. And Jacob shall return and be in rest and at ease, and none shall make him afraid. So the Heavenly Father does have a rest for us. Right. Come. And this ain't it. That's right. We got to get the hell up out of here. Right. right. So, uh, right. And this is speaking strictly to Israel. Oh, Jake. Ain't concerned. Most I ain't concerned with Moab and Ammon and Ishmael, Ham, Japheth. This is speaking to Israel. He, he has a rest. It's already prepared for us. You know? So it's work for whatever we got to go through. Uh, approvals, right? Hardships, your woman leaving you, your dog biting you, right. your children <laughs> disrespecting you, right? This, this rest is an eternal rest. There'll right. be no more. It, you don't have to struggle. You don't have to, you know, we're going to have sharp minds. We're going to be figuring out, you know, whatever problems come up, bam, we own that. You know, we're not gonna be doing this. What we doing now? Yeah, you know, no. we're not gonna be uh, laboring, and it's and, it, and it's true. But this is a beautiful thing. The scriptures tell us, hey, that, uh, in uh, Ecclesiastes, hate not labor is work. So we love to do the work, but we're looking for the kingdom to come. So we're not looking to keep, 
you know what I'm saying, studying right. and teaching and going out. I mean, yeah, we got, you know, we have to do it because why? This is this part of the contract. Right. It's, it's in the contract. We must do this. Yeah. Huh. Romans 8 and 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. So, yeah, it's basically uh, just enjoying that uh, that part of the that we have to you know, go through. You see, that whatever we deal with on this side is, you know, it ain't going to be compared to the glory that we'll receive. Right. You know? I got one thing in mind. This is uh, uh, 2 Samuel chapter 7 and verse 10. It reads, Moreover, I will appoint a place for my people Israel and will plant them that they may dwell in a place of their own and move no more. Neither shall the children of wickedness afflict them anymore as before time. So there's a time coming, brothers and sisters out there. We're going to have our own place and our own restaurants, man. In the land of Israel, where nobody would ever attack us again, our children won't be attacked or you know oppressed. <laughs> it's gonna be peace for eternity. And I know it's hard to conceive right now because we cut so much hair, like ain't no peace. But yeah, I wish I come to bring that refreshment on us, brothers and sisters, man, so that we can truly enjoy life and know what it means to truly live, man. Right. Because this kingdom has showed us how not to live. Mm -hmm. As the brother did a video, the uh, everybody did a video about uh, the, uh, the uh, water, man, and how we are, you know, soaking in chemicals. Literally, like, we're soaking in chemicals, man. No matter if you drink a thousand alkaline bottles of water, once you take a bath, your chemicals are absorbing your skin, man. That alone is killing your flesh, killing your, you know, moisture in your body, man. That's why we, you know, say, you, you, you uh, take a shower, your body itching. Yeah, right. you in it white. Bad, white. yeah, man. He's supposed to be sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we are, you know, we are hastening the times so that Yahweh trying to come and save brothers and sisters and their children from his hell, man. Right. Come. And the key, how we, how do we hate the time? Just sitting, oh, I can't wait till the kingdom come. Right. No. You know, it's just uh, action. Right. There's a certain way we're supposed to move to show that we ready for the king to come. Yeah. Uh, to hurry up and come. Uh, yeah. yeah. Redeemed is an action word. Right. Because mm -hmm. it, it starts in the mind. It's all of the, the thing. It's the thing of the mind. Then we got to put that in action. You know? Let's go with that faith and works. Faith without works is here. You got to have that works behind it. Yeah. yeah no, like, uh, like I'm going to bring a preacher. If I let go ahead and bring a preacher out. Who had the preacher? Uh, Mark Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 11. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. So just to back up what the brother was saying, you will fall under the example of unbelief if you're not putting in that labor, if you're not putting in that work. If you're not putting in the work and you're being idle, you're just saying, I'm going to wait. But you inactive, right. that's showing that you don't have any faith. That's showing the most high that you don't have any faith. The scripture is saying, let us labor to enter into that rest that that that's other it. brother was going into. We have a rest for us. Mm -hmm. But what do we have to do to achieve that rest? We have to work, which is a show of our faith. Right. And work at a, at a, at a certain pace, you know? Not just on the job, kicking back and one brick a day. You know, I'm a yeah. one brick. I'm on the slap board on the bricks, you know. <laughs> yeah, they got a little song talk about it. I'll never do shit at my job. Still in company time. You can't just be at the job and not do shit. You got to do something. You can't just get on the forklift and make one round and move one pallet a day. You got so many pallets and shit, you got to get to the doctor day. Right, and then you looking, you looking for the rest. I mean, speaking in terms of working on a job, you looking to get off so you can get some rest. Yes, yes. You see, yes. So at the end of the, the tail end of the shift, you got to get on the boogie to get the work done so you can get. Some jobs is you can't, you know, leave until the uh, work is done. Yeah, done. Yeah. Quick one. 
streets. It's a lot. We can't leave this place till the work is done. That's right. 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 Yeah. God. Yeah. 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 I said it is, it is finished. Oh, Peter, uh, Paul said it too. Yeah. I've done the work. Paul did the place. Yeah, Paul did the place. Yeah, Paul did the place. Yeah, Paul did Finish this course. Yeah, yeah. Just a quick one. This um, Ecclesiastes 10 and verse 18. It says, By much slothfulness, the building decay, and through idleness of the hands, the house dropping fruit. Mm. You know, just going to talk about labor and being active, putting forth whatever amount it may be, just doing something, pressing forward. Read that again. It's Ecclesiastes 10. In 18. And then somebody get Amos 9 and uh, 9 and 11. Ecclesiastes eight, uh, 10 and 18. It says, By much slothfulness, the building decayed, and through idleness of the hands, the house dropping through. Mm. All right. Somebody, we get that. We'll get Amos. Somebody get uh, 1 Peter 2 and 5. Amos 9 and 11. Well, let's get 1 Peter first. Let's get that. Let's First Peter chapter 2 and verse 5. Ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house. So what are we doing? We are when the building. We're spiritually building the house. We're teaching. Going out on the highways and byways, teaching, doing the doing the lessons, you know, praying. Being a brother, dealing with the, the brotherhood, you know. Go ahead, Doc. Yeah, that's the reason when we use the term edify. We need to build up. What are we building? Right, right. Mm -hmm. We're building each other, you know. Building ourselves and each other. Uh, through, through, the through the spirit in your house, right. Right. in your house, right. the spirit in your house. Right. right. So again, yeah. that's what Paul emphasizes heavily. Do all things unto uh, edification. First Peter, two, no, go ahead, go ahead. First Peter 2 and 5. Ye also as lively stones. As oh. lively stones, not slothful stones. Because that brother read that scripture. Uh, read that again, right, real quick. The one you brought up. Con, this is uh, Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 18. <coughs> it reads, by much slothful the building decayed, and through idleness of the hands, the house dropped the crew. Right. Yeah, man. Feel like an account, bro. If the account don't put forth the effort to build a spiritual house, man, we'll fall apart. We'll decay. We'll, we, you know, because we'll break off and not be a damn account, man. They burn not doing their jobs. All of them have different positions, different offices that we, you know, are attending to. And if your offer don't be fulfilled, man, then it won't be rid of your ass, bro. But we're here for a purpose, man, to make sure that this house is in order. Yeah, and it's steady getting built up. Right. You know? Yeah. Uh, that was it in the first Peter. Let's bring the Amos out real quick. This yeah. is Amos 9 and 11. <clears throat> and that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches that rose. Right, that's what's happening uh, as we speak. The house of David is being, uh, when we say tabernacle, when we say the house of David is being uh, built up. And the way it's being built up is through the men coming back together, the, the house of David coming back together. How did it happen? Through the preaching, through the preaching of the gospel. Look where, look where the, the house was in 2007. Dealing with uh, uh, the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, uh, getting on first, getting on the YouTube, spreading the word. Look where it was at then, and look how much more it has built up since then. It all happened through this teaching happening, right? You know, and then what? The different tribes, because in the different camps we got all the tribes. We got the tribe of Ephraim. Tribe of uh, uh, Issachar, tribe of Benjamin, Levi, Judah, and, and so forth. Yeah, 
chapter 2 in verse 20, 28. It says, And now, little children, abide in him. Then him is talking about Yahawashai. And it, abide means to what? Live. Live in him. Our abode should be your abode is where you're at majority of the time. It says, let me read it from the top. It says, And now, little children, abide in him, that when he shall appear, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. You know? So when Yahweh Shai do come, we want to uh, we want to be confident that we made the best of our time. Yeah. Or and not be ashamed. Be ashamed. Damn, I was fucking bullshit. But that fucking that that will come in the form of getting destroyed in one way or the other. Yeah, I wish I um told the servant that was given the talents he had one talent mm -hmm. and he didn't uh put that talent to use, which those men was given a portion of the faith, which we have all have been given, and he didn't go out there and preach the word. So Yahusha, when he came back, he said, Oh, thou wicked and slothful servant. Right, that's it. So if you ain't putting right. in the work, you wicked. <laughs> that's what supposed to be. If you end up, if you flipping the spiritual money, that's what it's all about. You working. You know, people that make, people in the world that make money, you know, that's, they got that hustler mentality. They not, you know, they not, they didn't get that money by shit. What you know, some with some people. They didn't get that by, you know, being slothful. Right? Yeah, I mean, you can't put your truth into no cryptocurrency and let the algorithm flip it for you. Right. You gotta put forth that effort to flip this money. It's spiritual money, you know? And I got a piece of gold online. Okay, you got nothing? Yeah, come. This is uh, Mark 13, starting at verse 33. It says, Take ye heed, watch and pray. Greet before you know not when the time is. For the Son of Man is as a man, is as a man tarrying, I don't know, uh, taking a far journey, who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to every man his work and commanded the porter to watch. Watch you therefore, for you know not when the master of the house cometh at even or at midnight or at the cock coin or in the morning. Let's come and suddenly he find you sleeping. And that I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. So it's our duty to watch, man. It's to fulfill our course. All of us have an office to serve, a purpose to serve in the faith, man. And if you ain't fulfilling your, your life, you're sleeping. Okay, like a two-third or a fallout, man. They're sleeping right now because they ain't fulfilling their course. Well, I said a two-third, and they've never been in the truth. But a guy who came in and fell out, man, he's sleeping right now. He's gone. But for us who have this ministry and still have the light, brother, keep on fighting, man. Keep on believing because there is a reward for this shit. We ain't doing this for no reason. Our Lord promised a hundredfold for whatever you want, man. Whether it be family, wives, kids, your job, lands, whatever it may be that you want, brother, it will be returned back to you to a hundredfold, man. So just keep that faith, keep that energy, and believe, man, you know? Yeah, right, man. <clears throat> but let's go with uh, the, the verse that say, uh, Blessed is that servant when the Lord come, he finds it so doing. Luke 12 and 37. Where is it at? Luke 12 and 37. Where I'm saying, blessed is the servant when the Lord returns to catch it. He found the watch. Yeah, yeah, it's gone. <clears throat> um, you got it, brother. Luke 19 and 13. And he called his ten servants. He said, this is your house shot. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. 
the, the right. pinnacle of righteousness. Right. You see? Right. Then uh, you speak, spoke on quit. You can't quit. That goes into that Luke 9 and 62. Mm -hmm. No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the most high. Right. Hey, a lot of guys quit, so to speak, because the uh, kingdom ain't come fast enough. Yeah. I've been yeah. doing all this work and yeah. it ain't, ain't nothing happening. Yeah. This year. I'm going back into the world. Yeah. Right. Uh, type of uh, mentality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of them didn't count the cost. Man, I didn't know uh, I was going to have to man, my woman, she owned me to be with her all the time. Man, mm -hmm. I didn't know I was going to be coming study it and going bring it out all the time, man. I didn't, <laughs> you know, yeah. uh, you better let that shit go. Uh, hey, that's the spirit. The rest of these definitions uh, touch on that. Uh, but it says, uh, to whom the head of the house or proprietor has entrusted the management of his affairs, the care of receipts and expenditures, like going into the talents, man. We, but we spiritually, we're dealing, we dealing with the Most High's money. We running all His affairs for Him, man. Okay, it says, and the duty of dealing out the proper portion to every servant, and even to the children not yet of age, man. This is the heavy office that we hold dealing with this, man. And we know what Revelation 12 speaks about the devil having a short time. So if he got a short time, we got the same amount of time right. to, to meet him in opposition. But if we have the spirit, we're going to overpower him, man. All right, last definition. It says the manager of a farm or landed estate or over, an overseer. Yeah, we, we are, are, are looked at as what? Husband, man. Mm -hmm. Like how like Shah said, <clears throat> how you must work the work while it is day, because the night cometh when no man can work. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, so you have a shot though? Hey, I'll piss off. Right. Right. You know, hold on, Lord. Yeah, yeah. Time is now. Time is now. That's it. You know, time is up to us. That's it. You know, so, so uh, we got to Lord willing, this be the last Passover, you know. Uh, they could have said in hell, you know. Uh, but uh, brothers got their mind made up as far as, you know, brother Lord Dean, we in it for the long haul. But we know that you know, it would be too much longer to haul. Right, right. So with that, we're going to end this lesson again, giving our praise to our glory.